Alright, so we're just going along here, and all of a sudden, we're gonna have a little explosion in the back. Uh oh. Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh, don't get sucked out the side! Oh dear! Oh, that was not a good idea! That was not a good idea at all! Uh oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Get back to the front! Get back to the front! Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. And yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with some more explosions. So, I asked you guys last episode, which, by the way, if you missed it, I'm going to flash it in the top right corner. We did blow up the Micro City, and I asked you guys a question, and it was kind of an honest question. Did you guys want me to blow up the old town? And I actually got quite a few people saying no, and then I thought about it for a little bit, and I was like, you know what? It just wouldn't be appropriate. We can't blow up the old town. That's the classic scrap mechanic map. Uh, if anything, we should be building a new town or something. Uh, we're not going to blow up the old town today. Uh, we are going to blow up some buildings. We are going to blow up some vehicles. We're going to blow up some helicopters, and we're going to blow up some planes today. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit more about destruction, but it got me thinking uh, when you guys talked about the old town. I was like, you know, a part of me still wants to build something. And obviously, you see in the background, there's the city hall. That was from, uh, oh boy, that was like the town 2.0, I believe. And then I think it made it over into the, the last version of the town. So, there's City Hall. We're going to blow it up. We're going to be blowing a ton of stuff up here today. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for Scrap Mechanic episodes, comment below. And if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. Ah, I love the smell of explodey bits in the morning. Alright, so, for our first explosion, we have Rupert. Rupert the Deer, which he's been in my Brick Rick series, and he's been in... Our scrap mechanic series, uh, he's been messed up pretty much every time. I think we uh, did skeet shooting with him once. So we're going to get him, and we're going to get a couple more deers here. So I've been kind of wanting to test some of the uh, some of the explosions out. Like, does it completely annihilate everything? I don't believe it does, but actually I'm pretty sure all these deers are about to disappear. But let's go ahead and try this out. Just uh, kind of like a warm-up here. So say goodbye to Rupert. There we go. And <laughs> oh no! Is that two eyes? <laughs> no! Oh boy! All right, this is gonna be a good episode. Okay, so yeah, I got that out of my system. I always thought, man, it would be cool. Which I did see the other day. Uh, I have a private jet. And I saw Mumbo. I don't know if he built one in that episode, but I saw that he was blowing up his private jet. I thought, man, I want to do that with the old town private jet, so I know we're going to do that. Uh, we'll get up in the air here in a bit. I kind of want to do like a demolition of this building. You know, everything that we've done so far has been really laggy, and it's because we've done it in a really big setting like the micro city. But I'm thinking if we can just do one single building, would it look awesome? Would it not lag? Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, this is the city hall, by the way. Uh, we're going to set up for a little bit of a explosion here. Oh man, this is bringing back some memories. It's been a long time since we've been in this thing. Actually, I believe this is like an updated version. Oh, this is my, uh, this is my office. We're gonna blow my office up. Okay, let's go and plant that there. That there. We're doing a controlled explosion here, so we're not gonna go too over the top. Okay, that one should lead out. So it's going to close. Oh, no, I don't wanna get in that seat. Let's do one here, and that should lead out to the hall. So we'll go boom. Cool. All right, so we need to work on the windows and pillars here. It's going to take a little bit. Okay, conference room is taken care of. We need a couple more canisters there. Okay, let's do the front here. Got to take out these pillars. Uh, we need a line. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work. We need a line that leads over here. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. These should be close enough together. Alright, so I don't think we're going to completely take out the building because obviously there's the top portion of it. But we're going to see what it looks like to take out one of these buildings. So this is going to be a little bit different because we've always taken out just the micro city uh, buildings. And those are not to scale of the character. So this destruction is going to be pretty cool. So let's go boom. There it goes. Oh, yes. Oh, that actually wasn't that bad. Did what? That was the coolest thing I think I've ever seen in Scrap Mechanic. There goes the top of the building. What? You know, I kind of, I kind of thought we didn't have enough. 
But I feel like we had too much there. We have leveled the city hall. Oh my. Um, okay. Uh, wow. I'm kind of speechless right now. I don't really know what to say. That was, uh, that was really cool. We're gonna have to blow up a couple more buildings today. I was hoping maybe just for a little bit of like an impact spot in the front and it kind of collapsed parts of it. But no, the, the building, it full blown flew in the air. Oh my. This was, is this a, I think this is a part of the roof actually. Yeah, this, uh, <laughs> this was one of the ends of the hallway. Okay, all right, let's get rid of that. Um, I would try to track down all the pieces, but I don't think that we're gonna find them all. Uh, let's go to the big chunk over here. Oh, wow, that got some distance. Jeez. Oh, look at the other pieces that made it over here. There's a lot of pieces around here. I'm actually getting a little bit of lag. Uh, I thought maybe it cleaned out most pieces and just left the big ones, but no. The thing blew up in a ton of chunks. Check that out. That was... Does it actually still say City Hall? Uh, no, I believe the City Hall portion is gone. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, well... There's not much more we can do with this map. Maybe we're gonna take the chopper up and blow it up midair, and then we'll uh, have to spawn another map here to get a couple more buildings out, plus the private jet. So we're testing all sorts of explosive scenarios here today. All right, so you're probably asking yourself, uh, how does this fly and where did this come from? This was from the prison. Ooh, man, we could do like a little prison break thing. Uh, is the door stuck inside of the... Hold on, let's uh, I think the thing freaked out a bit. Maybe this is where our lag's coming from. Uh, that was where a good portion of our lag was coming from, was from the chopper. Apparently when the explosion happened, it uh, warped the door inside itself. Okay, so we don't want to complete annihilation of the chopper, so... We just wanted to get thrown off, and I have to crash it. Is that too big? Let's go with a small one over here, and one in the middle. And then maybe we'll do one here in the tail section. That way it blows off. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of helicopter survival. Even though we can't die, it's still going to be... We're going to call it survival. Or whatever we're going to call it here. Uh, so you're probably asking yourself, how am I going to set this off? I'm just going to mount a gun here. And basically, it's going to shoot the uh, the one canister here. We'll hook it up to a button. I'll just click it uh, while we're in air. That way we can just set it off. We'll probably do the same method for the uh, for the actual private jet too. Okay, let's see if this thing still fires up. So, click. Okay. That works. Uh, we do not want to hit our last button yet. Hold on, what is that? Okay, that's doors. Okay. So, now keep in mind, it's been a long time since I've used a lot of this stuff. So, the physics might have changed. Actually, this is still floating. Oh. I did not expect it at all. Oh, this thing is a little sensitive. Oh, this thing actually has full WASD. Huh. I'll be. Okay, so we can start going forward here. Well, we'll call forward. We'll call it sideways. Okay, there's got to be a turning method to this. That's that. Two. Oh, it's two and three. There we go. Well, this isn't a half bad helicopter. What the heck? All right, let's uh, even this bad boy out. Oh, this is cool. That's actually pretty stable, too. All right, so we're just kind of going along here. Everything's uh, A-OK, -okay, right? Sure. Everything's going to be just fine. Uh-oh. What was that? Oh, jeez. Oh! Oh, what the heck? That was cool. Oh, man. That might be my new favorite thing. Uh, I had my game turned up a little loud there. That was uh, kind of scared me. That was a pretty abrupt explosion. Oh, man. There's uh, Is this the biggest chunk that's left? I'm pretty sure it is. Well, folks, we were setting about right here, or I guess it was this seat, and we got blown out of the chopper. Man, that's sweet destruction. Oh, this is so fun. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. All right, so I've got another creation. This is from Town 2.0. Me and Non-Newtonian, I believe, built this one day. Uh, this is the bus. Obviously, you see the old glass in it. Uh, this is a part of the uh, old bus depot, and I believe it's backwards uh, alarm is on or it's reverse uh oh that was the windshield wipers how do we close the door here maybe it's hooked up to the front here okay let's start rolling forward there it goes okay so we can go that's gonna be oh i forgot this had a kneel feature 
How did we do that exactly? Oh, we have that on like a little bearing and suspension piece. There you go. So it kneels up. Uh, obviously, you can see the suspension glitches on it. All right, so we can have an explosive bus. Is this fast enough? Ooh, what if we crashed into a building and exploded it? Uh, that could be pretty epic. All right, yeah, let's do that. Uh, this is gonna be pretty cool. All right, let's pick out a building here. Uh, well, I guess first, let's line this uh, bus up with some explosives. So we're gonna try to keep it a little bit small because I like when it chunks off and not completely obliterates it. So we're gonna have to start off small there, but we're gonna have like a bumper of doom here. Uh, we'll do a couple on that side, a couple on this side. We'll do a couple big canisters. Actually, we don't want to drag the ground. Let's go like that. There we go. <laughs> That's pretty menacing. All right, so let's go grab another building. Boy, oh boy, which building do we want to blow up now? We've got the fire station, police station. Of course, we already blew up City Hall. There's the theater. There's the power plant, which that was... No, that doesn't have enough area there to blow up. We're going to have to blow up a building. Got a news station, the apartment complex. Ooh, if we hit the back of that, that would be pretty cool. All right, let's go and spawn this. Now, I said I wasn't going to blow up the old town, but... I'm not saying I'm not going to blow up some of the buildings from the old town and this uh, apartment complex, which if I'm not mistaken, this thing was actually redone partially by Scrubmaster uh, because it's got the new windows in there. Plus, this thing was actually built into the ground because I was a dumb dumb when I built the old town and like everything was attached directly to the ground. And yeah, that was not good. All right, so the beautiful apartment complexes are set up. So we're going to bump it with the bus. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to back off. I don't know if maybe it would be kind of cool if, say, the speed of the impact would uh, dictate how quickly the uh, canisters would go off. So say if we hit this with the bus at a very good speed, uh, maybe that would set them off faster. That would be kind of a cool feature. I don't know how they would do that exactly because, of course, I'm not a game developer, but I think the, uh, the velocity... And just overall force that a lot of this hits, like, that would be cool to see it go off faster. Because I picture running a bus here into the side of this would be almost like an instant hit. Alright, so we're going to have a big explosion on this side, and then this thing's going to go through and make a big hole in it. Like, I don't want it to completely obliterate the building. Now, of course, I said that last time, and you saw what happened, but... I'm going to use a little bit more, uh, I don't know if we're going to call it patience, or a little bit more uh, self-control here. We've got a bomber bus here. <laughs> Oh boy, this is gonna be great. This is gonna fling my character. I wonder if, could I hop out in time? Uh, maybe I can. We're gonna try some action movie stuff here. Oh boy. All right, get ready, get ready. Hopefully it holds down. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to hop out. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, oh, that was instant. Oh, oh, that is incredible. Well, there goes the bus. Huh. Okay, I didn't think that was a thing, but that was, there was no delay there. Oh, um, okay, self-control. Uh, we overdid it again, I think. <laughs> hey, the neighbors have a new window in the back. Oh, man, I think the only thing left in tech are the, uh, possibly the bathrooms. Man, we need to do this in multiplayer. I wonder what this is like in multiplayer to blow up something of this size. That is a huge hole inside the apartment. All right, and then of course you saw what it did at the bus. It flung it a couple football fields back. Oh man, this is brutal. Look at that, the engine's still rolling the back wheels. Uh, you know, if you were in the, wait, how did those not go off? Man, we had those stacked in there. All right, let's finish this off real quick. Let's put that there, 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 there. Ooh, we need to go on, like, the Hot Wheels track or something and make some big explosions and some high flying. All right, here we go. Boom. And, oh, there it goes. And the bus is gone. Well, mostly gone. Man, I can't get over how good those explosions look. All right, so for our next thing, we are going to be blowing up the private jet. So I've got the old one here, which somebody else re-uploaded it, which it's kind of common with the uh, workshop. This is the old one from the town, and then I redid it and did a 2.0 version of it. It's still been probably at least a year ago, and we're going to try to blow this one up if it loads. Uh, there it goes. So this is the 2.0 version. It's not made out of the, uh, we made the last one out of wood. This one's a little cleaner. I think it's got a better interior on it. Oh, let's drop it. There it goes. Oh, that is clean looking. Wow. I actually kind of like that. All right, let's open up the side door. 
Uh, welcome to Jank Airlines. We promise not to kill you. Uh, well, potentially not kill you. There it goes. Whoa! <laughs> That's an aggressive door. Okay, huh? Let's get rid of all this stuff in here, except for the, uh, the stuff that we need. And we're gonna do a little bit of plane survival here. Oh, wow. This thing was actually, uh... This is beautiful. <laughs> you know, I think I actually remember building this up at work. Uh, my old job. When I had a lot of time to sit there and play on the laptop, but I couldn't record, so... I would do uh, kind of ridiculous builds and I'm stuck. There we go. Alright, so you can go up here. Here's the cockpit. I think we are good to go here at Jank Airlines. So, uh, what we're gonna do... Let's put our trigger here. We're not gonna completely blow this thing up. I'm thinking in half is what we want to do. So, one big one right here should do the... Uh, should take care of the cockpit part. I do think that we need... Hold on, let's go and open this. That door is aggressive. That's gonna kill somebody one day. I do think we want to do one here and then one on the other side. That way we get a complete separation and we blow the plane in half. Uh, at least that's the idea. I've been uh, overcompensating, it seems like, for every, uh, pretty much every explosion that we've had so far. Okay, that bad boy's hooked up there and we're going to hook this. Can I hook it to the seat? Oh, yes, I had just enough space. So let's go boom. All right. I want to welcome you guys to uh, Jank Airlines. Uh, I promise that nothing bad is going to ever happen here. Let's go ahead and go. I don't remember the controls of this. Uh, I used a lot of the Moombo method. That's the door. That's the landing gear. Ooh, that's a smooth hover. Alright, so that's that. How do we go up? What is up? There's up. Oh, this actually... Up! Oh, on! Redo! Uh, let's try that again. This is actually pretty smooth. Let's see, that's your turning. So it's W-A... Oh, actually, it's A-D. There's no W on this. The accelerator's four, okay. Or the thrusters, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's a plane. I'm, I gotta remember not to hit 9 yet, because 9 is gonna blow this thing up. So, here we are. We're just going along here in Jank Airlines. Uh, nothing bad happens, like I said. We have a perfect track record. Never experienced any failures, never experienced any mid-flight explosions, but today that's gonna change. Man, I really wish we had some slow-mo or some sort of free cam for this game. Oh, man, it seems like we might be having some issues. Everybody just remain calm. Everything's going to be a-okay. Uh, what was that? Uh, oh! <laughs> oh, beautiful! Oh! Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, this is actually cool! Oh, ouch! Oh, oh! Hold on, turn that off! Turn that off! Nope! Wait, did I just really close the door? <laughs> We're going to put the landing gear out. I want to welcome you guys to the airport here. Everything's uh, perfectly fine. Oh, boy. And that would have looked epic from the ground. Uh, let's see. What is left? Okay, the cockpit's left. And the door, which still functions, by the way. Well, it was functioning. Huh? There it goes. Um, we lost the tail section of the plane. That was cool. Uh, that was about what I was looking for. Maybe a little bit strong. I was still looking for a little cleaner separation, but nonetheless, pretty happy with that. Uh, let's go see if we can track down that tail section. Man, that probably looked so awesome from the ground. Hunting for her tail section. Oh, there she is. Oh, is the pooper still intact? Is this... A oh, yep, this is definitely the tail. These are the two biggest pieces that are left. Oh, the... <laughs> Actually, the, uh, the restroom almost survived. This would have been the restroom right here. There was a toilet somewhere. Uh, that toilet's gone. Here's a chunk of the jet here. Yep, we did it. I am super happy with myself right now. Uh, there's another piece. That was cool. Man, I don't even know how to wrap up the episode. That seemed like that was the grand finale right there. Maybe we'll do it one more time. And we'll just do a little bit different scenario. And then we'll uh, we'll call it a day here. Alright, so the plane is set back out here. What do we want to do this time? Maybe we're going to go with the smaller canisters. Uh, maybe we'll... Uh, what if we just blew a hole in it? Like, if, say, decompressurized or something, and a hole appeared in the side of the plane. Uh, let's go ahead and put that th there. Boom. And then we'll put our button. Okay. That's gonna work. Alright, so we'll hook that there, and you're gonna get hooked up here. Sweet. Yeah, we're gonna try this just blowing a hole in the side of it. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and get up in the air. Jank Airlines is back in business. Let's go ahead and get this up. Alright, so we're just going to decompressurize, and we're going to blow a hole in the side of it. Hopefully it doesn't take out the wing, but I, I think maybe we can actually make it through this. And now I'm thinking for the future, man, we could do more challenges with this. Like, if you guys have any ideas, uh, different scenarios to do, we could do it. 
Like, this is uh, pretty dynamic. And I would say you can almost set this up a little bit better than you can, say, like, Brick Rigs. Because we can place the explosives here. And we know pretty much what's going to happen. Now, don't ask me why Jank Airlines is flying backwards. Uh, we're trying to figure that out ourselves. All right, so we're just going along here. And all of a sudden, we're going to have a little explosion in the back. Uh-oh. Uh, oh! Oh, dude! Wow! Wait, can we get out? Hold on, let's get out. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, 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 don't get sucked out the side. Oh, dear. Oh, that was not a good idea. That was not a good idea at all. Uh oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get back to the front. Get back to the front. Uh, uh oh. You know what? We're just going to finish it all here. Uh, there we go. And, uh. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, we were really high in the air. Jeez. Uh, yep, and it is done. Ouch. Hmm, that was kind of cool. You know, we could almost do challenges, like emergency landing challenges. Maybe we'll have to land the plane at maybe the, oh, that's a lot of debris. Uh, we can land it at, say, the airport. We'll maybe make a malfunction in the bottom, blow out some landing gear, and then we'll place some explosives along the wings. So if I do crash, the plane blows up, so that's the penalty. I'm thinking, we, we might have another scrap mechanic here really soon. If you guys have any ideas for this, let me know down in the comment section below. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Scrap Mechanic. That was uh, actually really fun. I want to thank you guys for all the love and support, and we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic.